we're going to be looking at the properties of alpha, beta and gamma radiation. An alpha particle is a helium nucleus. It's made up of two protons and two neutrons. Whereas a beta particle, you have beta minus particles, which are fast moving electrons or high energetic electrons. And you have beta positive particles, which are fast moving positrons, highly energetic positrons. And positrons are positively charged electrons. And gamma rays are an electromagnetic wave or a photon, which is a packet of electromagnetic energy. So the alpha particle is heavy, has a mass of about four U's, where a U is an atomic mass unit. The beta particles are the mass of an electron, and the gamma rays have no mass. The charge of an alpha particle is from the charge of the two protons, which is 2E, where E is the elementary charge, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. The charge of a beta minus particle is minus E, and the charge of a beta positive particle would be plus E. And a gamma ray has no charge. We look at the ionizing power of radiation. Ionization is about the ability to remove an electron from an atom. And in order to do this, it, you need energy. And the alpha particle is very strongly ionizing. And that's because it has a lot of energy. Whereas gamma radiation is very weakly ionizing because it does not have as much energy compared to the alpha particle. And you can see that the beta particle, its ionizing power is in between, it's weak. And that's because it doesn't have as much energy as the alpha particle. And because the alpha particle is strongly ionizing, its range in air is a few centimetres because it strongly ionizes the air. Whereas the range in air for gamma radiation is several kilometres and from a point source, it actually obeys an inverse square law with distance. And again, the range in air for beta radiation will be somewhere in between, so it's about a metre. Alpha particles can be stopped by a thin sheet of paper, whereas beta particles can be stopped by millimetres of aluminium and gamma rays can be stopped by centimetres thick of lead. Gamma rays travel at the speed of light and the beta particles travel very close to the speed of light. So they're very fast moving. But alpha particles travel approximately between 5 to 10 percent of the speed of light. It's important to note that all the alpha particles from a particular source have the same energy and so they all will have the same range in air. Whereas for beta radiation, the particles from a particular source will have a continuous range of energies, and that's because they share their energy with the neutrino or the antineutrino that accompanies their emission. And as a result, the beta particles from a particular source can have different ranges in air. 
the different radiations deflect differently in an electric field. The alpha particle is deflected slightly towards the negative plate, indicating that the alpha particle is positively charged. The deflection is small due to the large mass of the alpha particle, whereas the beta minus particle was deflected strongly towards the positive plate, indicating the negative charge of the beta particle and it's also having a very small mass. And the beta positive particle had a strong deflection towards the negative plate, indicating the positive charge of the beta particle. And the gamma ray passed straight through the electric field. It wasn't deflected because the gamma ray has no charge.